focus on your breath. Settle in from the activity of the morning. And remind yourself you're doing this not only for yourself, but also for the people around you. There's a passage where the Buddha says that all good teachings are alike and that they teach gratitude to parents. It's good to think about that when the mind settles down. I used to ask Thai people what they would identify as the, the most basic Buddhist virtue, and they'd always say gratitude. But as the Buddha himself pointed out, it's not just Buddhist, it's universal, it's everywhere. Particularly gratitude for your parents. Because back when you were small and weak, they were strong, they looked after you. The time's going to come when you're strong and they're weak. Okay, You owe it to them. Because after all, they had the choice. They didn't have to raise you. They didn't even have to give birth to you, but they chose to give birth to you. They chose to raise you. Went through all kinds of difficulties. And so whether you felt that they were skillful parents or not, at least you owe them that much. And if they did teach you right and wrong and did teach you the good things about what it is to be a good person, well, you owe them that much more. And so how do you repay them? Well, part of it is by actually becoming a good person yourself. There's an old Thai verse. It's in Pali, but I don't think I can't find it in the canon anywhere. But some Thai monk apparently wrote a verse in Pali saying that the sign of a good person is gratitude. It just shows that you recognize goodness when you see it, because then you'll be likely more likely to appreciate it and go through the effort of doing good things yourself. And so this is one of the ways in which you show your gratitude, is by training your mind so that you're a good, reliable person, reliable to yourself, reliable to the people around you. And when the time comes to repay any karmic debts you have to the people who have helped you, okay, you're in a position where you can. Because as the Buddha said, the best way to repay this is if your parents are people who are, who have, are not generous, well, Give them the example of being generous so they become generous people. If they're not virtuous, give them the example of being virtuous so they might be inspired to become a virtuous person. That way you repay your debt to your parents. In some, some cases where it's difficult, okay, use the strength of mind that comes from concentration, the strength of mind that comes from your discernment. It'll make it a lot easier. So work on these qualities. They're good for you, they're good for the people around you. A lot of the good things in the world, like status and wealth, praise, are the sorts of things that you gain and other people have to lose. Or if other people gain, you might have to lose. There's always somebody gaining, somebody losing. And those kinds of goods you know, create a lot of divisions in the world. That's why we see so much divisiveness in our society right now. It's because everybody seems to be focused on the, the types of goods and the types of happiness that actually create divisiveness. So things, those things aren't really good. They're not really happy. Look for the kind of happiness where the boundaries get erased. When you're generous, that erases boundaries. When you're virtuous and you are careful about other people's well-being, that erases boundaries. When you develop qualities of goodwill in your heart, that erases boundaries. Those are the kinds of goods that you really want to work on, because everybody benefits. So keep these thoughts in your mind.